Greetings all. Let's learn about Roland Barthes' science versus literature now. So as you all know, linguistics is often called the science of language. And in his seminal essay, Science versus Literature, Roland Barthes makes a number of claims and reflects upon the contrast between science and literature. Let's get into the presentation now. Well, Roland Barthes was a French literary theorist, essayist, philosopher, critic, and semiotician. Barthes is perhaps best known for his 1957 essay collection Mythologies. Traditionally, Barthes was regarded as a structuralist and he was believed to emphasize structure and form instead of content or meaning. His famous essay, The Death of the Author, critiqued traditional approaches in literary criticism. The death of the author is the inability to create, produce, or discover any text or idea. The author is a scripter, according to Barthes, who simply collects pre-existing quotations. He is not able to create or decide the meaning of his work, acclaims Barthes. So the task of meaning falls in the destination, I mean the reader. Well, science versus literature. So when science and language are taken into consideration, right? Language is just an instrument or tool which is neutral and transparent. So for science, language is just an instrument or tool. Language is only subordinate as of science is concerned. Workings, hypothesis, and results are important for science, and a language exists only outside the scientific domain. So the content of the scientific message is superior in science. Language or verbal form is needed only for expressing the content, and of course, that is nothing. So here you understand that as far as science is concerned, language is just a tool and it is only subordinate and for science uh, results are more important and language is just existing outside the scientific domain right well now let's make uh, an analysis of literature and language so language is literature's very being right Language is literature's very world, in other words. So the entire literature is contained in the act of writing, says Barthes. So the function of language is not just to convey a message. Language is a significant part of literature, making it more effective. In literature, language cannot be restricted to the status of an instrument and it cannot be restricted to the number of stylistic rules that are used for expressing the social, emotional, or poetical realities. So according to Barthes, literature holds the sole responsibility for language. In short, literature exists in language. So here you understand that language is everything as of literature is concerned. Got it? So, the function of language is not just to convey a message and it is pretty more than that. Well, so structuralism essentially operates from a scientific point of view, right? So, the contrast between science and literature is important when it concerns structuralism. Structuralist ideas spring out of contemporary linguistics. So, Structuralism itself is a science. Structuralism, in its scientific point of view, finds itself in three different levels of the literary work. So here we could see that Barthes brings in three different levels of literary work. The first one is 
at the level of the content. The second one is at the level of the forms of discourse. And the third one is at the levels of words. Well, we'll see the first part. At the level of content. So, structuralism seeks to establish the language of stories. So, when it comes to stories, their articulation, their units, and the logic that interconnects connects all the units are taken into consideration. Got it? And the next one, at the level of forms of discourse. So, structuralism pays special attention to classification, hierarchies, and arrangements. This attention to classification and hierarchies places structuralism similar to that of rhetoric. So here we understand that structuralism is principally, it is concerned with classification and hierarchies, and of course, all kinds of arrangements. And Marx claims that this is kind of similar to that of rhetoric. So here, what do you mean by a rhetoric? Rhetoric is the art of persuasion, I mean, which along with grammar and logic is one of the three ancient arts of discourse. Yes. Now comes the third point at the level of words. So here, something else to understand is the words in literature does not only have literal or referential meanings. It's much more than that, right? It is filled with additional meanings as well. So this is what Barthes says about the words in literature at the level of words, right? So here uh, he says that words doesn't uh, rely on just literal or referential meanings, but it is filled with additional meanings. Well, now the birth of structuralism. Marx concentrates on the birth of structuralism. Structuralism has a natural inc inclination to explore the science of literature, says Marx. So, structuralism emerges from linguistics and finds its objects in literature. Right? According to him, the attempt of structuralism to establish the science of literature is unsatisfactory and incomplete. So Barth tells that the very attempt made by structuralists to establish the science of literature is quite unsatisfactory. It's incomplete, says Barth. He also warns that structuralism must stop analyzing literature as its very object. If not, again his warning, right? If not, structuralism may end up as one of the ephemeral sciences in the history of humanity. So look at the warning. He says that structuralism may end up as one of the ephemeral sciences in the history of humanity. By the way, what do you mean by the word ephemeral? It's a lasting or used for only a short period of time. So he says that, he confirms that structuralism may end up for a short period of time in the history of humanity, right? Well, so the logics of structuralism. Structuralism will be just one more science if it does not manage to subvert or destroy the scientific language, says Barthes. The aim of structuralism should be to rejoin literature and not to consider literature as an object of analysis, but as the activity of writing. The structuralist has to turn himself into a writer to rediscover the crucial problems involved in every utterance. So the very essence of seeing language as a medium of thought should be avoided as it is no longer covered in the midst of realistic illusions. Okay, so the scientist claims the presence of a neutral state of language and now Barthes advocates that this claim should be challenged. Language, says Barthes, 
is a vast system in a fluctuating hierarchy. And uh, scientific discourse claims to be using a superior code of language and this claim is to be challenged and questioned, right? As of science, it subjugates the pleasure of language and this void is to be developed and highlighted. Barthes argues that the process of integral writing alone can transform and nurture science with the values of literature. So according to him, literature is always a science in written form. Well, so now the presentation comes to an end and uh, those who haven't subscribed it, do subscribe. If you really like the video, just like it and share your thoughts. So thank you so much. And this is Wahida signing off. Mm -hmm.